hello guys welcome to my new video in this video i'm going to show you how to set up your creality ender 3 version number 2 for ultimaker jura and for this one we are going to use 4.6.2 which is the up-to-date one so go to their website and download the ultimaker cura as you see on my video right now so after the download you just click setup and set it up it's pretty easy and straightforward for mac and windows so you just need to install it after you install it this is the screen that you are going to end up with in this sprints in this screen since i have already installed printers i don't start up with the windows showing adding a printer so for that for the ones who already installed the cura you need to go to the Art printer section like click the name of your printer and the drop down menu will open and from there click add printer or manage printer both of them will work so if you click manage printers in there you will see all your printers and again you need to click the add button after you click the add button you will add a non-network printer because it's a non-network printer from from so from there go down to create the 3d section and select create and that 3 version 2 is not available at the moment so probably it's gonna come soon too so after that just rename your printer as version 2 as you see here after that it will go to the machine settings so we need to change some stuff in the machine settings so go to the printer settings and change your x axis to 220 y axis to 220 these are in millimeters and z height to 250 millimeters stays the same and then we will select the build play as rectangular heated bed and g-code flavor is marlin and regarding the start g-code is the same start g-code as ender creality as Creel Tender 3 uses so it is there's nothing there's nothing you need to worry about or change at the moment and regarding the printhead settings we are going to keep the same x min y min as it is in the Creel Tender 3 and for the x max and y max that are again going to be the same numbers regarding the ng code it is again the same ng code it just shuts down the machine cools the extruder and heat bed and uh, disengage the motors from xyz this disables the motors so when you go to the extruder one the compatible material diameter is going to 1.75 millimeters so there's nothing to worry about that and after we settle these down click next and our Creel Tender 3 version 2 is set up so you click close so it should be ready to print now we will move on to printing now we will move on to slicing settings which are like most important things in here after you set up your machine now what we need to do is to import an SDL file and I'm going to open one of my recent SDLs which is a Darth Vader statue so I'm your father, 30 centimeters uh, tall, uh, dark video So I'm going to import this and turn it and scale it down to 60% and turn it. So right now my statue, like the print STL, is basically hitting on the, the like stay, standing on top of the heated bed as you can see like this. So from there, these are the options where you can like move it back and forth and rescale it. Right now it's sorry. 50% but I'm going to scale it up to 65 right now it is 70% and I think 65 is good yeah so this is my model right now and as you can see we are first and as you can see the first thing to change in quality is the layer height so 0 0.2 is really draft layer height so what we need to do is to make it go lower for this model my to go is mostly 0.08 millimeter because it is giving me a really good layer resolution as well. Uh, if you want to go upper, 0.1 is good too, but 0.2 is not gonna be good for this model. For the wall thicknesses, I always go with the 0.8 millimeter. Uh, it's good enough. If you want a more stronger walls, you should go with the higher wall thicknesses. Uh, next up is the infill. For these kind of models, 20% infill is really good. Uh, there's no need to go up and waste more regarding the material uh, 50 and 200 celsius is are really good for temperature in the bed but my personal favorites are printing temperature as 204 and build temperature is 55 so regarding the speed uh, there's a settings in here as like 50 millimeter per second which is really great but in my models i if i want to speed things up i use 60 millimeter per second but 
50 mm per second is really good so I'm going to leave it as it is regarding the retraction settings while it's traveling this is going to prevent oozing so go higher if you see oozing my to go is 8 to 10 millimeters for the cooling itself we will always enable print cooling because it is required and regarding the support as you can see this object has lots of against the gravity sections so we need to generate support and from everywhere is your option and also you can change the overhang angle if you want to waste less materials so for the build plate adhesion I'm gonna go with brim because it's a very big base and I think the brim bit of 3 millimeter is going to be good enough for the special mode it's going to be all at once and as you can see uh, our model uh, gives a model error where it talks about uh, your model is not a manifold so there will be errors in this model and we will see it in the preview section so we might need to make some edits or print this uh, object piece by piece I put this one in here to show you the settings and slice it to see how long it's gonna take so now let's click slice and see how long it's gonna actually take also one thing in here if your printer if your computer is not a high quality graphics computer this process is gonna take some time okay after five minutes later my slicing is done and as you can see with these settings this statue is gonna take three days and eight hours which is like crazy but let's click the preview to see where the support materials are gonna go in and again if you have a graphics card better than mine it's gonna take faster for your computer to come to this stage and as you can see you can see the support materials that are put into the Vader statue and it seems like they are really fine support materials like they should be good but uh, that support material under the hand is too thin and too tall so that might fail and from this slider over here as you can see we can go layer by layer to the top and see how the structure is gonna got printed however if you guys might realize I realize that the lightsaber is having zero support so basically that part is going to fail as you can see so when we go up it is not going to support it and it's gonna fail so it's not printable at the moment so for that I suggest that let's print this model piece by piece and I'm putting the link in the description below so that you guys can download it and print it piece by piece so for that I think I'm going to cancel this idea of printing this one at the moment and print it piece by piece but for slicing and other purposes I'm going to import another SDL file and show you guys how to print that one now I'm going to click the object and click delete and then now I'm going to import my new SDL file which is my design one of my designs is a, like a pencil holder that will have magnets behind to get stuck to the metal legs so I'm going to turn it around and make it properly printable as you can see and this one will require no support materials and I don't need that much of it layer height or resolution so let's change them I'm going to change my layer height to 0 0.1 <clears throat> and the rest of them are same except the part where I need sports I'm going to remove that because I don't need any sports now I can start slicing and since this model is pretty easy to slice it's going to take very few seconds less than a minute to slice now this model is going to take 18 hours and 24 minutes uh, what I can do is basically increase the layer height to 0 0.2 to decrease that time but I'm going to save this document to my file so right now since there is no USB attached to my computer it says save to a file as you can see I plug my USB in and it says save to removal drive I'm saving it now I'm going to eject it and it is done I sliced my object eject my USB now I'm going to plug it to the end directory version number 2 and start my print okay now I plugged in my SD card into the Creel 10 directory version number 2 and I started my trip print the bed heated extruder heated and these are my other babies that are like doing some job in here and these are my SLA machines as you can see guys and this photon in here is printing the Eiffel tower this is 34% done 
and um, when we are back to Creality Ender 3 version number 2 it is right now printing the initial line just to clean the nozzle out and make the material flow out now it will start printing my and here is identification knob turning and print started and the screen looks really good the power tune stopped everything in there the remaining time to be honest has faults in it just to let you know don't believe in that remaining time and this is the start of the print so thank you for watching and congratulations on your Jura settings uh, setup your printer is right now printing what you have sliced and if you guys like this video don't forget to click thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next video